Hi everyone, uh, welcome to this video. In this video, we will talk about how you can get the product lift from the Stripe payment gateway. So let's start. We'll create one page, lift product. Now first we set up an API. For example, let's go to the your plugin thing. Create product is there, just collapse it, make. Now go to the Stripe API. Yeah. So in the product thing, there's a one, uh, if you go in at the very last, that is get. What is the return a list of your products? So all your product, whatever you have created, you will get it. You just copy from here. Now go to your bubble pay app. Okay. Click on import the same thing. Done. So get all product. So the get get call. I don't think we need to do anything else apart from that. The thing is like the call. Now you if you see all your products. Since we already have only one product, so all this ID, it's what type of it is a product, it is subscription, what type of product it, it is, object type, active or not. <clears throat> When this product is created, this is the epoch time. You can search over the Google and just convert in the human readable format. This is the description, you need to add it. This is the image. This is the if this is a test mode or live mode, since this is the test mode we are doing. That's why live mode is false and uh, other thing, name and everything. So what we do is make that as an action. Now go on our page, HD repeating group. This is the repeating group that we are going to use. Uh, make it as a two or one and uh, type of the product data sources or uh, data from the external API or get all product uh, body get all product now we will fetch uh, one so put a one in this pretty basic one I'm just preparing it is very bad you just you will just like feel like it is yeah it is but i'm just for the testing purpose it is there oh. make it look like better not the first uh, this is the image so i just make it dynamic current cell data and this is image and the first item that's it and uh, now i will just make it a horizontal the nice so now i will just put a name of that product this will this will be the name of that product make it at current uh, name this format is better but not body make it header h2 dot will work h2 will work now just put it there now the description text and this will be a description and make it a little bit bigger make description just little long and stretch it to this one and stretch it to a couple of uh, current dead fill and make it description that's it and this is a basic thing uh, just wrap everything into a one group Group element you now if you go just preview it since we already attach the uh, API there so it will be something like that your product is appeared so let me let me yeah so till now uh, we have added the get the list of the product in the next video we will learn how you can attach the pricing of to this product till the bye bye